Guys, this new Tomb Raider game is a disappointment. Here's why. It adds nothing new to the formula, it's pretty much a rehash, and to be honest, the story is really, 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 really boring. The best thing about the Tomb Raider games, at least the reboot, it's that it takes a young Lara Croft and has her evolve into the Tomb Raider. But the problem is, they've been doing that origin for free games now, there's really not much further for her character to go, so the most interesting thing about the previous games is effectively grind to a halt here, the sort of beating a dead horse at this point. This game is a disappointment, yes, but it's not a terrible game, it's just not really a worthy sequel. There are some good things here and there, such as better controls when you're underwater, there are things like great voice acting, good lip syncing. Have you been down there? We were waiting for you. What do you think we'll find? The mural showed a series of trials. For a game that's coming out in 2018, the graphics overall, I'd say are pretty lackluster. They're not great. You know, they're not terrible, but I'd say they're about average. But for a game like this, it's disappointing. The music is forgettable. I can't remember any of them. I remember the sound effects, which were pretty good for building tension. But because it's Lara Croft, you know nothing's going to happen to her. So it's all quite empty suspense. You know the NPCs around her are in trouble, or the generic soldiers. But you know nothing can happen to Lara. She's quite safe. I mean, the things I loved about the previous games, like learning languages, looking at artifacts, studying them for more information, doing all the climbing, the puzzles, and the dungeons, sorry, tombs, that's still there and I still enjoy it, but it's not new. And if you enjoyed it in the previous games, you'll still love it in this, but feel a sense that the games not move forwards. I'll admit the tombs are more interesting now, they have a bit more spectacle to them, they're a bit more fun to look at. But overall, it's a bit meh. If you have played Shadow of the Tomb Raider, you enjoyed it, you'll enjoy this game, but you'll enjoy it less because it's pretty much mostly the same. One thing I did enjoy about this game is the fact there are a few new takedowns. One of them may even be stolen from Assassin's Creed 3, just saying. But another thing I loved was the underwater mechanics. For instance, now there's stealth underwater, so most of the time in the game, going underwater is really difficult because you've got to go with 3D navigation going up, down, left, right, back and forth. And on top of that, you've also got stealth as you hide from eels and prawns. It's not done too brilliantly, but it adds an extra element to what is otherwise quite a boring part of the game, which is effectively just walking down a corridor. It now has more strategy to it, which I like. It's not done fantastically, but it's a new idea, and I like that. This is going to be a really short review, because ultimately this game doesn't bring that much new to the table. The game will take you around 20-something hours to complete the story and a few of the tombs. So I'd say around 25 hours at maximum. I've enjoyed the game, but it's not fantastic. So my final score is 3 stars out of 5. A lot of people will enjoy this game, but it's by no means great. I'd say it's better than okay, I'd say it's good. Okay guys, so that was my opinion of Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Tell me what you think. Like and subscribe if you like the video, and feel free to tell me in the comment section. What do you think of the reboot series? And which game is your favorite, and what did you think of the game? Alright, I'll see you next time.